The setting could not be more perfect for our end of the day meal. We had no fridge, so the beers were cooling in a nearby rock pool. I got the chaps to help me with a spot of chopping, as the tide was already making its way in towards our beachside kitchen. The boys are at work, earning their supper, and uh, I'm just going to de-beard these mussels, and uh, then I'm going to soak them in fresh water with a little dash of malt vinegar. And that will encourage them to spit out all their bits of grit and grind that they get inside their shells. Hopefully, in a sort of half an hour or so, they'll be ready to cook. But be careful. Floating mussels may be dead and can give you food poisoning if you eat them. Give them a good stir just to make sure none of them are floating. So if any of them float like that one, it means they're no good. Um, then you throw them away. A bit of olive oil and all our bits and pieces. Spring onions, wild garlic, or ransoms as it's known, chilli, ginger and garlic. That all goes in. So what we do is give that all a really good stir. So it's just a couple of minutes to get that slightly softened. We don't want to burn anything. And then uh, here goes the coconut milk. And we'll just let that simmer. So while we're waiting for that to come to a boil, I think I need something to drink. Any chance for beer? What's the chef? Oh, cheers, Sai. Right, that's now boiling. Let's squeeze a couple of limes in there. So it's kind of like a Thai dish, but I mean, you could use, you know, lemongrass or green curry paste. We're about to get washed away by the sea here in any minute now. I think we'll be all right. We better get those mussels in. In they go, as many as we can. Give that a stir. Here comes the sea again. The tide was in danger of ruining all my hard work, and so the cavalry got off their chairs and offered to help me out. Hey, Martin, should we build a trench? Come on, come on, quick, quick, the tide's coming in. Not only do they have to chop their own dinner, they also have to build a dam to save their dinner from the incoming tide. How desperate are we? <laughs> the homemade sea defences look to be holding. Big handful of coriander, just tear it up. Chuck it in. Fresh mussels. Pretty good. The dam is breached. The dinner's ready. <laughs> and uh, do you know what? I'm going to serve up. Fresh English mussels in a Thai coconut sauce. And they look stunning.